Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf. Today, another fun one with both Bella McCauley and Emma Carpenter today at the Tour Van in Minnetonka uh, because we're going to use the Track Van Combine feature for a little challenge between the two of them. Gophers teammates, uh, season's coming up right around the corner, and they both just competed at the US Am at Bel Air Country Club in California. So, um, without saying any more, they're really good players. And so, today we're going to do a little challenge. Um, and so, between the two of you, We've got, what is, I think, Emma, you set up the test here for us. So maybe explain a little bit about the parameters and how this whole thing works. Sure. Yeah. So basically, this is something that we do in practice very regularly. Um, we also use this a lot of times for qualifying when we can't play any golf outside. Uh, it's basically, so it's a track band combine. We set up all kinds of different tests. Sometimes we'll do wedge tests, longer irons, drivers. But so how it works is it'll give you a number, a carry number to hit, and you try to hit the carry number. Yeah. And depending on how close you are to um, the target and the yardage, it'll give you a score out of 100. And then you can do as many shots. This one is a 10 shot combine. So then it'll average your score for each one for an overall score. So anything usually like in the 80s, uh, 90s is really solid because okay. it means you're hitting it probably around like 10 feet ish mm -hmm. average. So yeah, anything to add balls? Yeah, no, it, it's actually a really accurate way of, of testing someone. I think that's even why we sometimes use it in qualifying is it's just like a really good measure. It does an overall thing to do it, to, to measure it. So um, it's not just like, oh, you hit one bad shot, you're kind of out of it. It's very accurate in terms of an average and an overall score. So yeah. it should be fun. Kind of grades the entire sample versus yeah. maybe one bad shot or one really good shot even could kind of skew things um, on a smaller sample. But, Definitely. Um, we get 10 shots each. You can kind of, and then of course, I think you have a range of yardage here too that you know, just spews out a random yardage within that range and you just have to find the club that works. That's right. You, or you can set up exact yardages or anything if you want to. But this one we have it just set up random yardage from 90 to 150. 90 so. to 150. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good wedge mid iron yeah, test. Totally. So. All right. So Emma's going to go first. Okay. And we've got 10 shots that are going to be hit here. And it looks like shot one here is 103 yards. 103. So I'm trying to carry it 103 and it has to go straight too. It doesn't matter if the yardage is right if I hit it like way left or way right. That is not going 103. Okay, yeah, that's a bad start. Okay, Ooh. that's all well, right. Well, like we just said, there's there's 10 shots, <laughs> so, you know. Basically, we just don't want numbers to get any lower than that. Um, it's kind of like golf. If you have a really bad shot on here, it's gonna skew you a lot. Yeah. But if you have a couple that are low, but not too low, it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's fun about TrackMan too, is just all the different mm -hmm. competitions you can do and different strategies, things to work on for sure. Um, okay, okay, a little bit better that's on better. that one. Yeah, so that one was better, but it was a little left. If that had been straight, it probably would have gave me a score in the 80s or 90s, yeah. but. So now, I noticed you're switching clubs, so now we're up to 122. Yup, 122, so I'm gonna take a little off a of pitching wedge on this one. Okay. I'd have to sit. Oh, that's, oh, that's pretty good. Perfect. Look at that. Okay, yeah. See, 15 feet from the pin, that's a good shot. Yeah, so 15 feet gave me a score of 88. Convenient now, they go to, down to I know, not too bad. <laughs> Just gotta take a couple yards off of it. Oh, another oh, okay. good one. Okay, yeah. but I mean, back pretty to back, good. really good she found the rhythm, there. she found the rhythm. Oh, now up to 143. 143. What are you hitting now, Em? So on the course, I would hit a nine iron, but I just don't think I can carry a nine iron 143 right now. So I'm going to have to try to take, just hit like a choke eight. Oh, that's mm, pretty good. That was good. Right idea. Just Pushed a little, little bit, bit. Yeah, a little bit too far, but well, I guess that's, I forgot. I keep thinking total versus carry. Yeah. Actually, carrying it only five yards further isn't a huge deal. But back down to 113 now. Yeah, 113. So now I'm going to hit a gap wedge right around that. I got to pick up my numbers here if I want to beat Bella. Dude, that, looks, that sounded great. Hopefully that's good. Oh, yeah, really good. Okay, Perfect. there we go. Ten feet away. I don't I even think I know this answer, Em. What's your favorite? distance or club to hit 
<laughs> Hard question. It depends. It depends on the day. Whatever's closest to the hole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I, hmm, I would say probably right there and probably right there in like around a hundred yards yeah. because it's just like a pretty smooth, uh, sand wedge. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I also, I f actually feel really good about my numbers inside, inside like 80 yards with a lob wedge. I feel like I can always get it pretty close if I'm yeah. pretty Perfect. close. What's yours? I honestly would say anything like 125 or 130 and lower. Um, if I had to be like super specific, I love like 65 to 75 yard shots feel really good about it. Mm -hmm. I almost step up, like I, I step up to most of them on the golf course thinking like this better be within five feet. <laughs> uh, the standards, but, I'll tell you what. But I think, yeah, so kind of anything around the, those distance, when I get a little further than that, um, you know, 30 feet, getting it on the green, two putting, getting out of there kind of thing is my mentality, so. Right, right, but, makes sense. Here I'm 129, so I'm gonna hit a harder, harder pitching wedge. That's might be a little too far left. Still oh, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, yardage is really good. Just a little yeah. bit left on me. I do like, too, that, I mean, because, you know, so many times even you're just kind of hitting balls on the range or something, you'll take the same club, you know, several times in a row, and you kind of get used to that muscle memory of that club, whereas in this kind of combine here, you're switching clubs, you're switching swings every totally. time, you mm -hmm. know, kind of yeah. like you on the golf course, you're going to hit a different yardage every time. It's really good. That's why also you have the option to do um, it sequential. So it can do an, an order of the yardage oh, starting yeah. and you're working your way up. But I actually prefer it random because I think that that's more accurate, yeah. like on a golf course. Yeah. You're not going to go 108, 110, yeah. 112. Like, I mean, it would probably be a little bit easier because you'd have a feel, but this is a better indicator of, of how you're swinging it, in my opinion. Oh, how about that? Get lucky. Oh, that, that's actually, I thought it was going to be short. <laughs> Shoot. You know, that's, uh, that could have been worse. I mean, it, I actually the, could have been worse. In terms of the line, it's like right on line. So, <laughs> you know, just the distance was a little bit That's off. a never thin a wedge. It won't end up very good. All right, I got two more shots. Sounded good. That Better be really good. good. Oh, oh yes. Perfect. <laughs> Three feet. Can't get better than that. Always feels good when you get 100. One yeah. time, I'm not kidding, it felt like I won the US Open. Coach came in, I was doing one of these, and she's like, acted, I was just doing one of these alone in a bay in practice. And she's like, all right, we're on the 16th hole. Like we need you to finish birdie, birdie, birdie mm -hmm. to for the team win. Just started yeah. like, she's like, okay, like, you got this club. Well, like she's being all theatrical about yeah. it too. It's kind of how she is. <laughs> I finished a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. I've never done that in my life. <laughs> like we were screaming, <laughs> we're jumping up and down, just so uncalled for, like for no, for no reason. In the basics but, of Moody, just like hundreds. Base six of right. Moody. Oh my gosh. It's so, it can get so wild in there. Just everyone is so excited. I mean, that's kind of the way you have to, like, it's better to, you know, because you have to put yourself in the competition mindset, though, too. Of, right. I need, you know, the pressure's on. I got to do this for the team type of mentality. It's right. It's a fun way of doing it. Right. Well, and I mean, something that we talk about a lot is like, we're going down, especially in all spring, we're competing against teams who are playing down south. And we're this is what we're doing for practice. So right. we don't they get, get to play they get to golf. go out on the golf course. Right, right. So so we have to make it. We have to simulate as much of high pressure, um, you know, need good execution as much as we can. And then you know, if we beat those southern schools, we just got a little bit of a chip on our shoulder that's because true. Yeah. they get to play golf. If we're still beating them. That's that's pretty solid. <laughs> All right, last shot. I got a couple scores in the fifties in here, so that's not gonna be good for my overall. I think that should be pretty good. Yeah, pretty okay. good. Oh man. So 78.9 is Emma's final score. I think there was, you know, just a couple of swings that kind of brought that down a little bit, but not great. Overall, there's some eight good of the shots ten swings there. were pretty darn solid. So yeah. 
Um, nothing, definitely nothing to write home about. I would yeah. say I always shoot for at least like a score of 81, 82, yeah. but well, not Bella, shameful. how you feeling? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, I'm kind of just depending on the yardages I get, but we'll see. 79 is definitely not bad, so we'll see kind of how, right. it, how it goes. But All right, let's see it. Starting at 113 yards. Yes. And so we, we've mentioned it, I think, in the previous video as well, but distances and, and it will be a little bit different between the two of you. So Yeah, it's not going to be the exact same numbers, but it's all going to be the same range from yeah. 90 to 150. So it'll it'll probably be very similar. I think she's got to do like she's got to do badly to to me. <laughs> My score wasn't quite good enough. First swing score 71. OK, hey, there's not There's great, hope for you but here. that's so <laughs> okay. Funny. Off camera a second ago, Drew said that he wants to try try these combines, but he's gonna have to do it alone because he's yep. nervous. <laughs> that's so yeah. funny. I do not blame you at all. Ooh, that might be a little less. 137. Duh. What club was that for 137? Ooh, ooh, oh, wow, not good. Hello, you're juice. That was like. That one flew. What club was that one? <laughs> that was a seven iron. And okay. It was supposed to be kind of soft, and it just did not turn out. It sounded really soft. It sounded crisp. Yeah. yeah, and then you get the draw on it, and it kind of. Right. All right. That'll be pierces right. through the. This through one the should be just a kind of a stock eight iron. 126. Oof. Not good. All hmm. right. She's just trying to keep it interesting yeah, yeah. here. She's gonna She's finish just... really solid. <laughs> Only three shots in. Just so. now that now the comeback starts. Exactly. I had a combine I was can, doing one time. You can kind of see the little, right here is the average so far. That's the that's the score. You got a hundred yard shot now. There we go. Okay. That was There's the bread and butter. That was better. One time I was doing one of these. I was like, it was a 10 shot combine, I think. My average score was at like a 95. I was so excited. My final one, I got a zero. Oh, how, how did you how? get a zero? I hit like the biggest snap hook of my life. Hmm. Like zero, then it ended up like a 78 or something. I was <laughs> so pumped. Dagger in the heart. I love the gamesmanship to get that in Bella's head as she's... <laughs> No, I was tr more so the 95 <laughs> no. part of it. That would have been good. It was the right distance, just didn't even keep it straight. Goodness. Hit that same job that you've been doing, Bells. Just start it a little right, and then it'll yeah. be perfect. I think you're right. All right, down to 92. I, I have a feeling this one's going to be pretty close. 92 yards. Yeah, pure. That was yep. better. I think you're right. The draw is good. Definitely. Yep. See, why am I, gi why am I giving her feet? tips? What's 94. your go-to shape shot, Em? Do you prefer the draws or the cuts? Because you can do both pretty good. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Thank you. That's really nice. I, um, <laughs> I, I, I prefer draws because I feel like a cut gives me a two-way miss. Okay. Which mm -hmm. a lot of people disagree with. Most people disagree with. No. It's different I, for everybody. I just feel like my right miss with a draw is never going to be that bad because it's just going to be a little push. Nice. That's a good one, too. It's just going to be a little Art. push, but then the... Big draws, whatever, yeah. the only real miss. Well, when I'm hitting cut, sometimes I hit a double cross, sometimes I slice it. What do you like, Bells? I prefer, draw's kind of my stock shot, so I kind of, I feel like most confident in it. Um, honestly, if I'm gonna try to hit a cut, it's more just holding off and not like a real cut. Right, right. <laughs> But I don't know. If I have to shape it right to left, I feel like way more confident in that. Yeah. Left or right, I honestly just mm -hmm. try not to do it. <laughs> Oh, there it is, Bells. Nine feet away. This is gonna, yeah, this is coming down to the wire here. That was good. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Finished just barely right. Ooh, oh. that needed to go. Shoot. Not be short. Wow, so a one, oh no, uh, okay. I got one yard more. shot to bring I home feel the like I need here. to. Hit this one pretty good. What club All you got right. for this one? Seven iron. Seven iron from mm -hmm. 139 for the win here. Oh, it was a good shot. Sounds good and looks good. Score 80. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Really <laughs> nice good shot. Job, 24 feet away. <laughs> good game. Good game. Wow. 
That was fun because I think it, it again, like now I almost want to, when I go to the range and warm up for a round or even just practice, like hitting different clubs, not consecutively, probably is a nice big benefit to have on the course then when you're hitting one shot to seven iron, then the next one's a, you know, a little wedge shot. Um, that was, it was fun to watch you guys come back and forth, go back to the bag, grab a club, you know, and throw some, throw some darts out there. Right. Or even if it's the same club too, like sometimes you have to use the same club, but you have to hit it a different yardage. That's always mm -hmm. really, really good practice. If, if people are practicing, you should try to use like an eight iron or a wedge or whatever is try to hit one yardage, try to hit it like shorter with the same club. It's good practice. So mm -hmm. yeah, always really good practice. I think it was great to start off our season kind of gearing up for it. So <laughs> yeah, great job, Em. You did awesome and can't wait to get started this year. Thanks, Bells. Let's do it. We're going to be doing a lot more of these over the next year. So <laughs> yeah. hey. Hey, go Gophers this year. The season's about to start, so we wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks, Drew. Thanks.